Greetings and welcome to City Skylines Deepford episode 68. So in the previous episode we built the Garden of Eden and we also built the precursors to the uh, Million Pingy Tower. We did. We, 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 we built the stadium and we went and we built the Expo Center and the very inappropriate, inappropriate, inefficient ring, rail crossing because we figured it would be fun to have an expo centre with a rail crossing. Uh, there we go, and ding ding ding. Wow, the first time I've ever seen a train stop for a car. That is the first time I've seen a train stop for a car. Anyway, <clears throat> that being said, uh, we built that, and then we also went and built a few things over in the new town. Uh, the new town being, if we zoom out and find the damn thing, over here, we built. A massive skyscraper. Yeah. And did we build anything else out this way? Yes, we built this horrible looking building out here. Uh, which is... Just a box with a helipad on top. Honestly, it looks like an oil rig in land. But it's a servicing services office, so we built that. Which is great. Now this episode we're going to be focusing mostly on building our uh, Space elevator, which just need 1.5 million for that, which I did say I was going to run time forward, then forgot to run time forward, so shh, it's fine, it's fine. And then we're going to start working on the fusion power plant. Now we can start working on that, um, but for the money to build up for that and do them at the same time. Yeah, let's do that. So we do that, we need to construct the observatory. Well, that, I know where that is. That was like tier three. There it is. To build that, we need to have 1,000 abandoned buildings in the city. We had enough to do that. We had enough to do that after the massive call from the other thing. Damn you. Damn your observatory for requiring abandoned buildings. I'm not demolishing anymore. Ugh. Fine. So, we can't make that. We just wait for something to happen. Um, I mean, I can force it, but we don't want to lose that many people right now. Okay, well, how about making the other thing instead then? To make the medical center, we need the high interest tower. High interest. Tower. It was uh, an office block, wasn't it? Uh, that one. The high interest tower. Now this, that's not the high interest tower. Now this is a side on building. And honestly, we could just slap it here and be done with it and say, hey, we built it. But I think it's the wrong place for it here. Honestly, I think the best place for the high interest tower would be... Ooh, probably in this little bit of town here, maybe. But uh, I'm not even sure that would be a good place for it. Maybe in the... Ooh, where would be a good place for a high interest tower? Ooh, the new little town over here would be like a big benefactor. Because it has a, like a... It's a small area, small town area. With access to the motorway right there. And they can build it right there. Ooh, yeah. And people coming down the motorway will see this high interest tower. And go, oh, isn't that high interest tower? Amazing! They must make loads of money. And they're right, they do. But only for themselves and not for everybody else. It has water pipes. It has power. You can make... There we go. That actually doesn't look particularly safe. You know, it was like, hey, we started building a building and we kind of forgot some of the scaffolding. So we just left it there. That's fine. Nobody did notice, right? <laughs> also, that wall kind of be uh, buckling in there. That's, that's not structurally safe, I'm just saying. If you have to put a rib cage on the outside to hold your building up, you probably want to rebuild your building. What do you have a problem with? Uh, people being idiots over here. Well, we can deal with the idiots over here very, very simply. You guys don't get to go where you want to go. You go to that lane only. You guys get to merge lanes over here. And then you guys get to go there as well. Because those are the busiest lanes of the lot. And that should actually uh, ease up a lot of that traffic problems there. Boom. A little traffic problem solved. Nice. And we got a nine risk building. Isn't everything going great today? What's next for you, my friend? You now need a courthouse. Well, you know, we've got a high interest building. I suppose you've got to prosecute somebody for something at some point. That's how it works, right? That's the pension offices. The courthouse. Is that one which needs a crime rate over 50%? Wow. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen a crime rate that high. But the one way to solve that is to sit the police budget and go. Eee. Eee. There we go. That might help, but I honestly don't think we'll be building that one. Um, <clears throat> we're at 7% right now. I have never seen it hit more than like 10%. So uh, we're about to find out how bad it can be. 
I mean, we could go around and turn off all the police stations, but that's a time-consuming and laborious task that doesn't really need doing. But we have got one million, so we can put on a few dog packs, right, guys? Places need packs for their people. People are important, I and mean, dog packs are more important because they have dogs in them. That's enough of them. What's that? That's a large playground. Probably not a playground in the uh, commercial area. A small giant park. Let's not. It's a playground? No, what's this one? A small park. You have a small park there. I like how the small park is bigger than the uh, dog park, by the way. Boom. There. Please have a horrible border thing around you. That'd be kind of annoying. Uh, anything else we can build over here? We can build a couple of these Japanese gardens. They are quite small and would be quite fitting in the commercial area, wouldn't they? Boom. Boom. Uh, went out there. Boom. And went over here. Boom. And then what would actually make sense is a merry-go-round right in the middle of uh, commercial area because for some reason it's kind of popular that way. And no more because then whether not covered can be covered later on with other stuff. That's not a problem. Uh, what's our crime rate at now then, Courthouse man? 7% because we're amazing at our crime. We're going to have to run all the police stations off, aren't we? That's going to be frustrating. Um, how many police stations do we actually have? That's the question. Uh, no, that's healthcare. That's still fire. There we go, police stations. So, police stations? Do we have any in here? Oh, they're not highlighting. Okay, they're not highlighting. So, if we were to change that to policing, which one's a policing button? Uh, crime, there it is. It actually doesn't tell me where the police stations are, which is actually really unusual. These sort of maps usually pop up with the, uh, with the, with the police buildings. I mean, if I do like fire, you would get like all the fires, if I do, if I do education. It usually pops up the schools, but we're not getting the overlays. Ah. There's an overlay for you. Uh, we can have the crime overlay. There, that, that was really, really, really long. All right, so we could, we could go turn off all the police stations. It is a boring task, but so we're at seven percent, so we kind of have to do it. Okay, all the police stations are going to get turned off one at a time. Boop. There we go. I wish I was waiting to sort of fast track this, but I don't think there is. Now, where are all the police stations? Because when they're turned off, they have a grey light. So that makes it really easy to spot the ones we need to turn back on again later. That's going to be useful. Can I have the police station, please? Can I, can I have the police station, please? Thank you. Boop. And boop. Yeah, everyone's really unhappy right now. And there's a reason behind that. Because you have no policing. As much as people don't like the police sometimes, they do a very important service, and in this particular case, they're keeping our crime rate down. We're at 8%. Turning off police stations is working. So, having the budget's really low didn't help. We turn off the prison as well, then there's no way to put the prisoners if they do find any. Haha! -ha! They've all been released back to the back to the world. They went from like 500 in, in to none in. There we go, and then we just send all. Oh, that's not a police station. We just send all the police prisoners back onto the streets. Boom, there they go. And uh, crime rate's down to 7%. Releasing more criminals onto the streets reduces crime rate. Who would have thought? Uh, turn you off. Okay, so... Keep an eye on that crime rate, though. I'm surprised it hasn't gone up. Uh, I'm surprised, more surprised it went down to the roof. Um, does that mean that corruption is the... Uh, it's the biggest crime in the city? Ooh. Political. Um, build you. I need more police stations in the main city anyway. The main city itself is massively underfunded right now. But there we go. That should be zero jail, jail cells. Unless I've missed a building. Have I missed any? Because I'm getting... I still have 20 jails. It's still showing me having 20 prisons. Uh, I don't see... Do we like get... Uh, oh no, it's gone down to zero. There we go. All the police stations are now turned off. Crime rate should become an all-time high. And if it does, you never know. We might get lucky. And be able to build the observatory as well. We got 92 out of 1,000, so you know, there's that. Um, we could actually do something to help with the, both of those. We could turn down some of the budgets on the uh, recreation buildings. That would put land value for the floor. We'd have to turn off the Eden project, though. We'd have to t turn off the Eden project. 
Oh, how's that pollution doing, by the way? Pollution levels are most definitely reducing. This is much lower than it was before. 4%. Yeah, you see? If we turn off the Eden Project... Oof, there we go. That would allow... That's a citywide frown. Oh. That would allow the pollution to build up. Uh, and that would cause people to leave. Especially if we were to go into here and say... Parks and Recreation, off, please. And that would definitely cause them to be very unhappy about land value and want to start moving out again. And that would be painful for the city. But, you know, we're getting close to the money over there. And that's going to give us a nice boost to our cash, right? And it would really, really help out our cash levels and also uh, help abandoned buildings. If we rose tax levels. Like that. That would make us a crap ton of money, move, make people move out. And uh, we actually... Uh, Leave the housing off and just make it the businesses. That's about no. I need to be. Need to be. Need to be. Need to be that. It's going to be painful, but it will make us a load of money, which we can use to buy stuff later. Uh, and it'll get us abandoned buildings that we need for the observatory. We're at 82 right now. This should start seeing buildings becoming abandoned over time. Uh, is there a way to see abandoned buildings? I mean, we lost like that lot. I mean, I used the bulldoze tool. Ah, the bulldoze tool. That annoys me so much right now. Uh, let's see, what are we at? 80! Why has it gone down? It should be going up. We're, I'm purposely annoying people. Purposely annoying people. Uh, let's see. 70! No! Okay, that's not working. Um, taxation. Bring those back to normal. We'll deal with that as, as, as another time, I think. Unfortunately, it's going to be annoying. No! Thank you. There needs to be a way to do it faster. Uh, that's money coming in, taxation-wise. We'll leave those on a bit. Um, people will get annoyed and we'll move out. And that will definitely help that problem. Uh, we're at 80... We're 73. The, it's going down. It should not be going down. Anyway, while we wait for that, we now have 1.6 million. We can build the Space Elevator. Which you can place here. And it will produce noise, but these are offices that can deal with the noise. Uh, pop that to that side of the road. I kind of want to keep these roads available for building uh, amazing buildings on. Like that. Boom. Space elevator. Now it gives us... It gives us stuff. Somebody tells us what it does on that one. Let's see what it does. Click on it. Um, it's a passenger vehicle building. Oh, right. So it's... Yeah. Do we have the rockets come down to that? Big mate. What's our land value like, by the way? Uh, land value is high everywhere. Well, the Eden Project has been turned off. That should solve that problem. We can turn off the uh, Hadron Collider. Um, we'll figure out if that makes a difference or not. But hopefully we'll start seeing people abandoning their buildings so we can build the observatory. 69. I hate the fact that you're doing that. Stop going down. Stop going down. Uh, what's on the next on our list then? You. But 16%, get in there. Well, we can't do that one. Uh, we, need the we can't do that one because we need the courthouse. We can't do that one because we need the meteor park. So, we're kind of stuck on what we can and can't do right now. Uh, I need people to start abandoning their buildings so we can get the observatory built. It's kind of painful I can't build the observatory. I like observatories. It's like, you can't build an observatory until people leave the town. It's like, why? You look upwards. You're generally looking at space. Um... Also, a little surprise, the observatory isn't a requirement for the uh, for this for the space building, but okay. If you want to put that way around, 64. Why is it going down? <sighs> oh, I think making the turn for people to leave though. Crime levels are probably uh, wrong button. Uh, let's see within that one. Crime levels are at 18 percent. Ah, crime, 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 crime. So, we're starting to see some areas of crime popping up around, so that's good. But not good for everybody, but good for us. But yeah, we're starting to see bits of crime appearing. How's that big town looking for crime? Yeah, the big town area's got some red, little red buildings on them. Yeah, 20%. Okay, crime rate is indeed increasing. So, and we're making money, which is good. But hopefully when the crime rate gets to 50%, and the... Land value should drop because we got. Oh, we should turn the parks back up again. Just make some money and hopefully get some people to leave. And the parks turned down. 
Uh, because of that, you know what? Turn fire departments down. Turn the hospital down. I'm not going to turn garbage down because that will cause. Oh, turn garbage down. That will that'll cause some problems. Um, that should cause some major issues for people, causing them to flee our city. How much would that? Our, uh, yeah, we can do that. We need people to start fleeing the city, though. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run this out of episode... This time I'm trying to remember as well. Um, and see if we can get this to... Uh, people start abandoning their buildings, giving us places we can build... So we can build the observatory. Uh, observatory makes sense to build it over, sort of, in these areas, the elevated areas, if possible. Um, we don't really have a nice place for an observatory in the city. So maybe on this hill would make sense. If we can get a road up there. But I'm sure we'll figure that out. We've got nice red buildings up here that's uh, complaining about stuff, which is always fun. Uh, but uh, that's all all doing well. How's our pollution doing? Uh, you're doing okay up there, good. And all these pollution areas are doing pretty well. I like how the cars are bright white, just to make them stand out more in the pollution. We have a traffic jam problem here. Hmm. Might be good to try and get an extra road on. We put the, we can put this to the roundabout. That might help out with some traffic problems out here. Give me a one-way road. One-way road. Honestly, a two-way road might be better there. Give me a two-way road. Uh, from there. Uh, game. Oh, thank you. Auto save. Thank you. Auto save. Okay, so we're gonna run a road from here to this roundabout. Like that, and that will give the people here a quick access to the roundabout, which will give them a quick access to. That's a bit of a roundabout, I'm not around again. Aww. It'll give a quick access to the roundabout, which means that potentially fewer vehicles on this road turning to go onto the round to, to the industry. Uh, possibly also some vehicles can come back here rather than going down the high street and cutting back in again, which will hopefully cut down the number of vehicles on this road here. Uh, we should see people using it pretty quickly. Because they should pathfind to that pretty, pretty quick. In fact, there's a first vehicle already using it. Look at that. No, it turned last second. Damn you. I was trying to make a point, you numbskull vehicles. No. Straight ahead. There we go. The first vehicle using our brand new little bypass road to go to the uh, train station. And there is a return vehicle path, so we should start seeing vehicles coming down this road to go back into the industrial area this side to stop them going onto the main road. And that should actually really help out. Uh, hopefully we'll start seeing somebody because that guy might do because he turned right there. So... Perfect! Look at that. See, already being used. That's at least two vehicles not on that main road. And that is always a good thing to get people off of certain roads. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we're good there. Uh, let me know what you think of the design so far. I do like this part, but it does lag me out when I get really close to it. Oh, we're not doing too bad. We're going to to like 12 frames a second. It's not the best though, is it? <laughs> Oh, I can, I can fuck, fuck some people. I wasn't aware I could do that. Uh, where are you going? You. Boop. All right. Okay, let me know what you thought of the episode and any changes we should make to other areas. But until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching and we can see for the back of that woman's head. That's a, not disturbing at all. And we'll see you next time.